I think I took a shit in my neighbor's uh, lawn. Yeah. <laughs> I just got these plants, dude. Yeah? I don't even think they're real, to be honest with you, man. I don't think they are either, but they fucking fooled me. Yeah, I got them from Amazon. <laughs> they're kind of like broken. I was kind of upset when they came in. How are they broken? They're like fucking bent. <laughs> <laughs> Shit ass you know? plants. It's upsetting, man. Well, I was upset with myself because I was like, dude, if you're going to get plants, you got to get real plants, you know? There's no way. I feel like you would let these plants die if, For sure, if, you had, yeah. if you had real plants. Yeah, one time a girl got me a plant, dude, and it died right away. Like, I didn't, <laughs> didn't water it. At all. It That's died like, in, in front of her eyes, too. Like, <laughs> this, 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 this relationship is meant to fail. It's yeah. Like, well, dude, she gave me a plant, and then, like, I think a few months later, she was like, is it the plan I got you? And it was just like brown. <laughs> you didn't recognize it. Nah, that's, that's another plant. Yeah. That's, that's another fucking plant. That's the worst, man. When someone gets you a gift and you just treat it like shit. I'm trying to think if I ever... I've definitely treated gifts like shit before. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I remember my nanny got me like a ring. It was like a shit ring, but I... <laughs> 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 it's I, just, your, it's your I, I was going clamming and I threw away like a clam because it was too small and it got under the finger and the clam went flying and the yeah. ring went flying and then I had to get a new ring Shit. and she was there at the store like while I was getting a new ring and I was like <laughs> fuck I gotta like evade her oh you were trying to get the same one I was getting the same one Damn. and she got it like like with my initials on it too oh man she was like Trav your ring Jesus. It, it's your ring was she heartbroken she never found out yeah, yeah. Now she's fucking dead, but Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's a heartfelt story, a heartfelt tale, dude. Yeah, she's fucking what a dude. Fucking... One time, uh, this girl uh, who I was dating in high school, yeah, dude, for uh, just to ask me to uh, to the dance, like okay. to her dance, dude. On my truck, she like took uh, sticky notes, covered the entire windshield, asking me to like her dance. So when I walked back from my baseball game, you could, I could see it on the windshield and everyone else saw it And they were like, oh my God, that's so cute and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, so how the fuck am I going to drive away? You know what I mean? Like it's my old windshields covered, yeah, it's you fucked. know? And then she gave me a, she gave me a baseball, like with a bunch of romantic stuff on it. Okay. No joke, dude. A week later, uh, we were playing home run derby. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Say, did you crush a home run with it? Like, oh, dude, I was using like, uh, do you know, like, um, have you, have you played baseball? Yeah, I sucked dick at it, but, but you uh, know the concept of like a little league field versus like a, a big league field, right? Yeah, 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 dude, we're playing home run derby at a little league field, like a small field with big league bats. Oh, so you're just fucking <laughs> dude. crushing them. Uh, like. Some like my buddy just took out, he takes out the, the ball and he's like, dude, this seems kind of like special, man. Like, you sure you want to hit this? And I'm yeah. just like, dude, just, <laughs> just love in there. I dude. fucking hate that bitch. Shit really, over a house. I don't think I ever got, I had a, um, a girl give me a laptop once. I thought you were going to say a lap dance. Dude. No, yeah. <laughs> she bought me a laptop for my birthday. Holy and shit. And I was like, oh, because I oh. bought you like, tickets to the movies you know yeah. like that's that like, oh. I, I, I bought her some stupid shit and then we broke up and she had like she told her dad that i hit her and then she like the dad came over and he was like give me the laptop back <laughs> and i was like you're con concerned with the laptop <laughs> like first off i didn't hit your daughter but second <laughs> off like what is this yeah. it was like three in the morning Jesus, she's not like, making like a. He's not helping out with the, the whole case. No, no, he's not. <laughs> I was like, I was like, take the fucking laptop, dude. I don't give a shit, dude. Get this thing away from me. You gave me. it to him? Yeah, I gave her the oh, laptop. Jesus, I, I just wanted her out of my life, dude. She's yeah. so toxic. Yeah, I was like, this chick is nice fucking. tits, though. <laughs> <laughs> fucking wicked nice ass. It's usually how it goes. You yeah, know? She, like she, she was the worst person in the world, dude. But she was so hot. I'm not gonna lie. She she is still hot. Yeah. Yeah, and she she's Still one of those. To the, how, how old is she now? <sighs> I'm 33, so she's 32. Okay, and she's uh, she lives in Texas, <sighs> and I was doing shows down there, and she was like, before I booked all the shows, she was like, I see you still do comedy, like you should come 
do shows in Texas. And yeah. I was like, oh, I don't know anyone in Texas. Uh -huh. And then like that next month I met people and I booked like a week of shows all around Texas. And she was like, Hey, I'm actually coming to Texas. And yeah. then, um, yeah, I never met up with her though. Oh, I, like, yeah. I, I should have though. Go they have that song, dude, Dick Down in Dallas, man. Yeah, she's in uh, where the fuck is she? Houston. She's in oh, Houston. You just pretend, you know. Yeah, you just dick that down in Houston. Sick, man. You know, <laughs> just banging a girl to that song. Fucking dick down in Houston. <laughs> <laughs> dick yeah. down in Houston. I feel like that's what all my buddies are saying now, though, dude. They're just like, I'm like, why are you dating this chick, dude? She fucking sucks, dude. You know, and they're just like, dude. You yeah. see, your, you see your cannons. You know. <laughs> like, would, would you rather date a chick for tits or ass? Probably tits, man, yeah. Really? You look like a tits guy. That's what I've been saying for years, dude, but this sometimes, you know, I get pushed the other way. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> this whole thing is like, that's a tits guy. Yeah. That's a guy who likes tits. I feel like at our, at our age, dude, like tits, they'll, uh, like if you see a girl with a nice ass our age, man, something's going on. It's probably not real, you know? It's um, either that, like I would almost rather it not be real because if it is real, like, you know what it is, dude? Like when you see someone, okay, like when you're like 23, like everyone's yeah. in shape. But when you see someone who's, you know, like you're in your 40s. And you see someone who's really in shape in their forties. Yeah, you're like this person's a fucking lunatic. Yeah, it's like because you know that, like, if a girl has a nice ass at our age, you know that that's all she's doing is just hip thrusts every day, dude. And like counting, counting individual calories. Yeah, and just obsessing about it. Mm. Like you're a psycho. If you have a six pack and you're like forty eight, yeah, where's your kids? <laughs> Like, where's Na your kids? Natural, you know? Yeah, like... If you're on tea, it's kind of like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm going to take so much steroids when I'm in really? my 50s, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna take mad steroids. Just gonna send it, dude. And I'm just gonna, like, like hop on stage, just buffed out. <laughs> you're like, this guy's out of his mind. You think you would take tea? Like, do you think you would see a doctor and just be like, how much... You get some blood work and stuff? Or yeah. you would just go all in? <laughs> Just under the table, like black market, like horse tranquilizers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Buy from some some guy at a deli. <laughs> yeah, you're throwing fucking haymakers at people at like a local deli. <laughs> like a turkey club and uh, some anavar. Yeah. For fuck's sake. Yeah. You're telling the guy that the roast beef reminds you of your ex, dude. You're just fucking throwing haymakers at people, dude. <laughs> just like. <laughs> Punching a sandwich, uh, dude. Yeah, I've thought about it too, man. Taking tea once I start. I mean, right now, I mean, I'm 27, dude, and mm. even when I fart now, like I don't know what's gonna come out. Really? You know, I'm just like, all you can do is pray, man. My, um, well, I think it all it all like depends on your like genes and shit. You know, if you got good yeah. genes, like my dad's 70 and has like a six pack, so I'm like, all yeah. right, I think I'll be all right. Really? 70? Yeah. Holy shit, dude! I don't even know what he does. Like he's just. Like, you'd be like, oh, that guy, that's a healthy guy. He takes mm -hmm. care of himself. Like, he only eats, like, a handful of Skittles and, like, pound cake. Yeah. And bacon. Mm -hmm. And, like, no water. And just, like, I'm doing great. Yeah. I, was, I was like. Wow, it's fucking wild, dude. He's like an insect. I don't yeah. know. I got a buddy like that now. Everyone thinks he's on steroids, but he's just, he's all natural. He look, Dude, he looks like a walking mm -hmm. boner. Dude, that's what's <laughs> Like you, if you saw him, you'd be like, "What like, the fuck's going on?" Dude? Like when someone gets like really jacked, they yeah. get that like dick skin, dude. The like veins, the, yeah. it's crazy. It's like <laughs> their skin gets like thin and veiny, and yeah. you're like, "This guy's a cock." Yeah, dude's carrying around three dicks, dude. Literally, dude. <clears throat> it's I don't even know. That's got to be genetics, dude. Like the the veins and shit. Yeah, yeah. That's, you can see literally like twenty veins, dude, just going through his arm. I'm like about to jerk off his arms, dude. It's crazy. Would you rather be? Like a big fucking like refrigerator dude, mm -hmm. but no veins. Like just a big Polak fuck. Yeah. Like a big Polish. Just strong. It's a big Polish meat hammer. Yeah. Or would you rather be like a super thin vascular veiny guy? Definitely a bigger dude. Yeah, the bigger dude? Yeah. I'm trying to look like Aaron Donald though, dude. Who's Aaron Donald? Oh, he's an NFL player. Oh, he's, dude. He's like 300 pounds, but he's like a fucking gazelle. Shit. You know what I mean? It's hard to explain. Those people are, those guys are out of control. Yeah. Like those genetics, those are like, I think those guys are such like freaks that I think if the world got attacked by aliens, mm -hmm. I think the military would start recruiting NFL players. Really? Because that's like the cream of the crop of our <laughs> In race. In like a non-racist way. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> they have like a disclosure at the bottom. They're like, we are not racist. <laughs> we just like these ones. <laughs> 
<laughs> These ones are just better. Yeah. The reporters. But, but that, like, the NFL players, those are the cream of the crop of our, like, yeah. you know, of humankind. I mean, dude, you ever see, like, uh, CrossFitters? Yeah, those guys. Talk are... about, like, walking boners, dude. The, Even the chicks? The chicks are, I, um... I feel like you're the type of dude, your feed would just be filled with those yeah. <laughs> Like big <laughs> chicks, like CrossFit dude. chicks, like deadlifting, dude. When I was um, and I was like in college, I lost my phone at a bar, and I was yeah. like, "Fuck, I'm trying, I'm calling it, I'm calling it," and mm -hmm. this woman answers, and she's like, "Oh, I have it." And I'm like, "Oh, cool." She's like, "You were at Patty Power last night." I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "Yeah, I come by the gym. I'm at the gym right now." Yeah. Um, I'm like, well, "Where's the gym?" And she's like, oh, "It's over here. I have your phone. I'll give it to you." So I go to this gym. It's like a CrossFit competition, and I'm like, "Who oh. the fuck?" Her name was uh, like Agatha or something, like something crazy. <laughs> that, adds, that adds up. And then I was like looking, I was like, where the fuck is this? Okay, Agatha, where's Agatha? And they're like, coming up now for the delt lift. <laughs> Agatha. And she's just like this. Dude, she was like my height, but like 250 pounds. Really? Of just like brick muscle. Just muscle, dude? Yeah. And then she just cleared like 400 pounds. Fuck. And then she got off and I was like, I'm Travis for yeah. the phone. I mean, dude, I've, uh, that's wild, man. Did you end up going out with her? Yeah, we had sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had rough sex. Because I've, th I've thought about that a lot, man, like making love to a CrossFit chick. Because they put out those videos and like they, they're they wearing like volleyball style shorts yeah. and they're doing like deep squats. And you're like, obviously, I'm going to like it's going to cross my mind. There's um, there's those people. <laughs> there's the people who like like they like getting. Like they're like a smaller dude and they like getting thrown around by one of those women. Yeah. Like they, they put like their head in between their legs and the woman like squeezes it like a melon. Yeah. They're out there, man. They're out there. I forgot who told me about that. Someone who was like really into that stuff. They just but, like really big girls that like put them in fucking guillotine chokes <laughs> until they like come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, I don't blame them. Dude. If I was a small dude, I might get into that. Yeah, dude. Like... <laughs> yeah, fucking oh my god you never know what you're into man until you try it out you know there's probably there's probably many comedians who are about that honestly man i feel like most comedians aren't even into uh you know any sort of intimacy yeah they just if you talk about intimacy ever around here dude you're you're gay <laughs> Like it's like anything moderately emotional, dude. <laughs> you talking you're, girls? Yeah, you fucking gay. Yeah. Every video I see too is like around here. You know, there's always that question like, oh, like, uh, what do you like? What's your favorite position? Every time the girls like, I love just going right in a doggy. I was just like, it's like, it. dude, that is insane. <laughs> that's, that's wild, dude. Yeah, like, what if you're going out with a girl? She only did. I like doggy though. Doggies. Yeah, but just like going oh. right into that. Only, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, that's, that's that's like some trash ass sex. Yeah, you're admitting that you're like a like you have daddy issues. You know what I mean? Like that's like some hooker bad, sex. You know, well, in a bad way, I guess. But you know what I mean, that's like that's like hooker sex. Yeah, I mean, dude, we got to keep uh, like foreplay alive. You know what I mean, dude? <laughs> <laughs> that's all you had to say, man. That's all I had to say. That's all I had to say about that, dude. <laughs> like, ugh. but dude, uh, CrossFit though. Um, there's a girl named Brooke Wells. If you want to look, sure. I'll send it to you after this. Okay. Yeah. Brooke Wells. I don't know any CrossFitters. Why are they so like, there's so much douche here. They're like. Yeah. Well, dude, they're all on steroids for sure, but they can like uh, cycle on and off it. You know what I mean? Oh, I so they don't, they don't get tested. They do, but I think they can just like cycle off when it comes yeah. like testing time. Mm. I don't know. It's testing them, dude. Probably like some fucking. Probably like another steroid guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, just a doctor like in a lab coat. The dude who like sells them. To, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. You know what I mean? How do you even get steroids? You just go like the biggest guy in the gym? <sighs> no. I think they would probably get blood work. Mm. Probably word of mouth first. First thing that probably happens, bro. And I've done CrossFit, no homo, dude. Back in high school, I did it for like a few months. First thing that probably happens is you see someone like with like dicks on their neck. Yeah. Like clean and like hang clean, like 400 pounds. And you're like. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, you, you're just like, how do I do that? Hang clean is the one where you're like, you have it above like that, right? Yeah. You like swoop it up. Yeah. It's crazy, dude. They're doing that. <laughs> like that shit, the shit I'm talking about, could probably do like 300 pounds. If you could do that. 
with 400 pounds, you're yeah. a fucking mammoth. Yeah. You're like a mammoth person. Yeah. So like people probably probably see that and they're like, oh, dude, if I'm if I'm going to be good at this, I need I need what that chick's taking. Yeah. And then they go straight to the farm, dude. It's uh, <laughs> the muscle farm. <laughs> it's crazy because it's like like people think like, oh, if I take steroids, I'll be like the rock. Like, no, you won't. You won't be like yeah. the rock. You're not going to be six foot eight and Samoan. Yeah. Like you still got to put in the work. Yeah. But like, even if I took steroids, I think the biggest I could be. It'd be like probably two fifteen. Really? Yeah, I'm like one eighty now. Yeah, it's like that. That would be. <laughs> <laughs> People would know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People would be like, something's going on. <laughs> <laughs> and like and like quick too. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, you know, Travis Graham just blew up to two twenty. Yeah. He's fucking huge. Yeah, that's the thing, dude. Like you see pictures of these chicks, and you're like, that's that's a fucking man, dude. Like that's a that's a legit man, you know. You think, uh, well, they, they start getting, like, hair and stuff. <laughs> they start getting, like, like facial hair and, like, pecs. It's, like, boobs on top of pecs. One of my favorite videos, dude, and listen, man, I'm not that into CrossFit. It's just, like, I just love the hot chicks in CrossFit. There's a video of, like, the chicks, what, like, they run out, like, for the competition. Yeah. It's so funny. Wait, what? You, wait, what? <laughs> so it's, like, all of the competitors, okay. all the chick competitors, they run out into the arena, and you just, every single one of them is just, like... Like enormous. Yeah, their traps are the size of my fucking head, dude. I don't know if I'd be able to do that. I yeah. Th I think. Like make love to one of them? Yeah. <laughs> Making love. Oh, dude, I wouldn't even hesitate, man. It wouldn't. Especially even... like, dude, like you're into fitness, right? Like you're, you work out and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever think about just like banging a girl while she does like a kettlebell swing? If it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> like she swings it back into your nuts. You're like, oh. Yeah, you probably have to orchestrate that, but you know it, what I mean, dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you keep up for yeah. swinging kettlebells and fuck it. You know what I mean, dude. I mean, the gym is like home to testosterone, though, dude. You got to have those. You they, know? they probably only want to bang big muscle dudes, though. Yeah, like dudes who are stronger than them for sure. Yeah, because unless they're into squeezing dudes' heads with their thighs, yeah, I doubt it, dude. They're probably so like competitive. They're like, I need a man who can. They'd probably be impossible to deal with. Like, you couldn't just, like, go out to dinner with them. They'd be like, oh, this restaurant. If I had to guess, man, it's probably the dudes that are in their gym because they're with each other every day. Yeah. You know? And then they just say, like, gay shit to each other. <laughs> they, they get so gay in there, dude. <laughs> this relationship is gay. Yeah. Well, they're just talking about supplements like they don't even need. Dude. They're like, oh, did you try that horse grass yesterday? Yeah. That was $700. You try that fucking lamb dirt? Lamb dirt's good. <laughs> lamb dirt. <laughs> lamb dirt. That fucking lamb dirt will get you going. Dude, so uh, one more thing about CrossFit, but I did it, dude. I did it one summer in high school, and I already felt gay going in. Oh, shit. Like I went in. Have you ever seen like a, a CrossFit gym? Yeah, it's got like, uh, it, it's 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 like kind of like a gym, but it's got like different shit all over it, kind of. It's like the gayest place. Yes. <laughs> I, I was literally just like, yeah, it's kind of like a regular gym, but not at all, really. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, I walked in and I was like, "Yeah, I'm looking. To, I'm looking to sign up or whatever." And I see these people doing like crazy movements. And this dude was like, "Hey, like, um, does your like, does your mom wanna?" <laughs> no. He's like, "Does your mom wanna join?" And I was like, "Oh, that's a good one, man." <laughs> like I thought he was. <laughs> I was like, he was like fucking with me, and he was like, "No, I'm being serious." Man. No, I want to stick my penis in your mom. <laughs> I was like, listen, man, if you want to go outside, like. It's <laughs> like, that's such a casual way to ask someone to fight. <laughs> hey, listen, man, if you try to go outside or something. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, dude, I saw these people doing like max out fucking deadlifts yeah. with like terrible form, like. Dudes are doing like scoliosis for time. Dude, you got <laughs> <laughs> scoliosis for time. Uh, dude, I can't believe to this day. I can't believe you asked me that, dude. You know, my what? mom's sixty nine, bro. So back then she would have been. I don't know. I'm not doing the math, but you like, know, out of her prime. I was like, I was kind of offended, bro. But <laughs> dude, so I joined this CrossFit gym. <laughs> <laughs> your mom uh, yeah. 
So I joined, bro, and I, one day I went at like 12 in the afternoon, and it's like me and just these stay-at-home moms, and I'm okay. like, oh, this is sick. Like, I'm about to get a workout in with a bunch of moms. Dude, yeah. so the first, like, uh, exercise was rowing, you know, like those row machines. Yeah, you're fucking... So we're all, dude, we're all lined up, and the teacher who, like, tried to get my mom to come, he's getting us all riled up, dude. Like crazy train was playing oh, and God. shit. He was like, "Let's fucking go." That's his. That's his go time. Yeah. Song. They put on some jams, dude. <laughs> he was like, "All right, let's get it. Let's get it." And then they have like a clock and they count down, dude. Once it hit one, I fucking reared back, dude, like as hard as I could. <laughs> like, no. Borderline. <laughs> borderline shit myself. <laughs> Yo. Dude, dude, the the fart that I exerted, bro, <laughs> literally like bounced off the walls. <laughs> Did anyone look like? Dude, so, so it happened, and none of the moms laughed. And dude, I could not stop laughing. <laughs> dude, f- farts and shitting will always be funny. But it's uh-huh. like the unexpected farts. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I had no idea. <laughs> Like, dude, we went from, like, getting ready. Like, I was in the zone, like, motivated, listening to Crazy Train to that, dude. (laughs) You shit yourself to Crazy Train. Dude, so I'm crying laughing. And this guy is like... (laughs) Dude, he was trying to, like, motivate me to get back out there. He's like, dude, come on. Like, stop laughing. (laughs) He's he's literally like, let's go, man. Like, you pay for this. And I was like, all right, man. And I just, dude, I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> dude, the lady next to me, like, saw me laughing and stuff. And uh, she was doing, like, box jumps. And she just smashed her knees on the box. Oh, shit. She, she couldn't focus. <laughs> <laughs> like, your fart single-handedly disheveled the whole class, dude. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> dude, I ended up, I had to go to the bathroom. And I yeah. just stayed in there for, like, the whole workout. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, fuck. Yeah, he fucking dude. That guy fucking hated me. Shit. Did you you got to like keep saying I'm like, what did you stop going to the class? I altogether? kept going, but every time he saw me, he would make like a joke, mm-hmm. you know, about like anything that he knew made me upset. Like my mom. <laughs> Mom's here? <laughs> your mom back there? He was like, Where's your mom, Johnny? Hey shit uh, kid. Your mom fucking coming? Or? You just make like subtle jokes, man, that he knew like made me upset just to like let like let me know that he fucking hates me. Was he at least around your mom's age? <clears throat> no, this guy was probably in his 40s. He was a weird looking dude, man. <laughs> I don't know the actor, but if I knew his name, I could explain it. He's like, uh, he's bald. You know, he kind of had tits. That was the funny thing. Like he wasn't in shape. Fuck. His wife, though, dude. So he had a wife. Yeah, him and his wife ran the CrossFit gym. But he just wanted to plow yeah. your mom. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Damn. He was not happy in his marriage. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's like, he's like, would your mom? Because I am very unhappy in my own personal life. Please, this yeah. is no longer a joke. Yeah. But, Damn. Um, so you, so you, you you just clean yourself up in the bathroom. Yeah, I mean, I, I remember wiping. I don't think I shit myself, but I was like, dude, if you go back out there, yeah, you're just going you go yeah, to start laughing again. So, <laughs> at least like, you shit yourself and laugh, though. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been crazy, dude, if I farted and kept a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> just like, just, it just smells like shit, dude. It's like, I don't think I've ever shit myself. I don't think, I don't think I've ever shit. I, I used to... When I was a kid, I would take all my clothes off to take a shit. Okay, like what age? Like a week ago? Yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) I did it up until I was like 12. And I was like, all right, you're going to middle school next year. You should probably start doing that. Stop doing that. Why did you do that? Do you know why? I don't remember. I think I I was afraid I'd get shit on me. Oh, wow. I think I was... And then like one time I did it. I was in elementary school. I did it. I went into the stall. I took all my clothes off. I stacked them up in the corner of the stall. And then like older kids came in there. And they were like, "Go fucking someone naked in there," and they like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, and they took the clothes, like they just reached under and took oh, the clothes. No, and I was just f- having an anxiety attack. And eventually, the fucking teacher came because I was in there for like twenty minutes, oh. and she just found me like. Fat. She come with your clothes, or she just came to help you? No, she just came to call my mom. <laughs> 
All the lights are off. <laughs> he's like, he's like, you he found your son naked taking a shit. Dude. And, and, uh, yeah. So they like legitimately took your clothes and never gave them back? Yeah, they just, I never saw those clothes again. Jeez. I didn't even know who did it because I was in the stall. Yeah. So they, I just see a hand. Like, oh, like, oh man. Yeah. Dude. I was, dude, I was having an anxiety attack. I was like, especially at that age. Holy yeah. shit. Even if I was like, I mean, if I was, <laughs> if I was this age, I'd be like, fuck. Yeah, someone's about to find out about Just my walk secret. Walk in class naked. Cause that's the thing. I, I feel like when you like you don't really have you don't really have secrets when you get older. Cause you're like, yeah, this is just like what I do. Like yeah. fuck you, I do this weird thing, eat shit. Yeah. But like when you're a kid, you're like, oh, I don't want anyone to fucking. Yeah, you don't. Yeah. I don't want anyone to see this weird fucking thing I do. That's true. Yeah, I wonder what that is, man. Once you get older, you just kind of accept it. You're like, listen. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking, you know, I don't even know the weird shit I do, dude. Probably because I'm um, so used to doing it. It's probably not weird to you. You're probably just like, hey, yeah, this is what I do. Mm. This what is, do you What do you think you do now? That's weird. That like I full blown talk to myself. Yeah. Like, and I used to be like in my 20s. I was like, I was like, dude, this is a crazy thing. Like uh, externally or like, like I make no. I, I'm talking. Okay. Like you would think I'm on a Bluetooth. Wow. And then you, like so I just bah, 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 and I answer and then it bah, bah. does it make sense or no? It makes sense for sure. Yeah. I think I think it's good because I talk through things that like <laughs> before I'm gonna say them. Yeah. So like you know like if, if I have something that's on my mind, I'm like talk through this. Okay. And then, yeah. But um, I used to be super self conscious. I was like, I hope no one sees you doing this. Yeah. And I would just do it like in the car when I'm driving. Yeah. And now I just do it. I'm like at Applebee's alone, and I don't even. Fucking Dude, you care. might have OCD or something. I think I do. Yeah. I think I do. Mm-hmm. I had pretty bad OCD when I was younger, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I twitch too. My hands yeah. are like super twitchy. That's always been a thing though. <laughs> so I'm just like, I'm just in Applebee's alone eating and twitch, like twitching oh, yeah. and talking to myself. Yeah. Even now, dude, uh, I used to think I had a tick when I was younger, dude, because I would always blink and shit and I still yeah. do because my eyes are just fucked. Yeah. Like my eyes are fucked, man. Like vision wise, you're saying? Just everything, dude. You know, when I was younger, <laughs> man, like uh, just like my vision was terrible, like from the start, but I would always like open my eyes into water, you know? Yeah. See some titties and shit. That's what's up. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, dude, there was like, uh, I think I was in like, um, yeah, I, thought I was in first grade and we did like a concert that they recorded and we were all playing the recorder. Okay. Some people were singing and shit. And I remember watching like the videotape in class and I'm just fucking going like this. Like nonstop. <laughs> like nonstop. My eyes weren't open at all, dude. <laughs> the whole fuck. <laughs> this kid's really into it. Well, dude, I was blinking like every millisecond. I was just like fucking the whole concert. <laughs> you having Yeah. Like so everyone in the class is watching this. And they're just like, what? Yeah. They, they like, have a little special needs kid in the in the concert, dude. You know what I mean? Who's this fucking who's this fucking kid? Yeah, but speaking of the bathroom, dude, I got in trouble once. Uh this special needs kid was uh he was in the bathroom and uh he would pull his whole like his pants down just, oh, that was, just yeah. to pee. That was a big thing with them. Yeah. And I was taking a shit, dude. And uh I hear him like yelling and stuff. Like he's getting into it. You know, he's like making sounds and stuff. <laughs> So I'm like, all right, man, like I got to get back to class because back then you had to, like you couldn't be out for that long or no, you, yeah. you're getting in trouble, dude. Yeah. That's why the teacher found me. <clears throat> so I'm like, all right, dude, just open the door and like just dip. You know what I mean? Dude. So like open the door and he turns around, dude, he's pissing everywhere, dude. And he's screaming at the top of his lungs and a teacher runs in. They thought I was like fucking with him. <laughs> they thought you were beating him up. <laughs> like his pants were completely down. <clears throat> They thought you were beating up the yeah. naked special needs kid. Yeah, dude. I looked, dude. I got in so much trouble, bro. They didn't listen to anything I had to say. I was oh, like, they, oh, I they was thought like, you did it. I was like, hey, listen, I was just taking a shit. Like, <laughs> I mean, I didn't say that, but <clears throat> yeah, I remember getting in a lot of trouble, dude. Jeez, <clears throat> man. I mean, rightfully so. Like, if I did yeah, fuck if with you a special, do, yeah. If you were doing it, then that's yeah. like a, that's like treason, dude. You can't fuck with special needs kids, yeah. man. It's too easy, dude. You're a real <laughs> they, like. There were some kids I went to high school with that did do that. And it was just like, come on, man. Like, oh, what, yeah. what the fuck's the matter with oh, you? Oh, dude, I think I'd fight them, to be honest with you. Yeah. I've never gotten in a fight before, but if I saw someone like, you yeah. know. The grade, it was like the grade below me mm -hmm. would, would do it. And like, like physically or just like No, like just, yeah, just like, like oh, scream right. at him and stuff. That makes sense. And I was just, <laughs> <laughs> No, they never like, like attacked I thought them. you meant like they were like no. throwing hands with... <laughs> Dude, it's like, 
<laughs> Welcome to a special needs kid function yeah. for no reason. Yeah. I'd be like, whoa, what's going on with you, dude? <laughs> yeah, dude. What's your fucking problem? Yeah, dude, that would <laughs> that would be insane. I've never even seen that. Yeah, I think probably people probably don't do it a lot too because they know they'll lose. Probably, yeah. If you fight a Down syndrome kid, dude, he's going to fucking. My friend got laid out by like <laughs> by one. And really? He, yeah, he, he's a big dude. They called him Super Sean. Holy shit. And he was like he, like 350. Dude. Like big old dude. Wow. And like in high school, he could, because they, we had a weight room. Mm -hmm. And I remember in high school, he put up two plates on each side. Just like. In high school? In high school. Repped cool. it out. And we were like, dude, this kid's strong. And I forgot what happened, but my friend was talking to this chick, and I think he thought that chick was his girlfriend, and he just, like, ran down the hall and trucked my friend. Dude. Oh, man. And my friend went, like, right down. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, we were like, yo, Tommy, you just got laid out. Yeah. Yeah. So he probably got made fun of a lot, too, after that. Yeah. We just, we just laughed at him. We were like, yeah. dude, he, Super Sean just took you the fuck out. Yeah. I dude, they're, they're strong, bro. Yeah. <clears throat> like, it's not even, you know. Yeah. God rest his soul. He's dead, actually. Really? Yeah. I found how, did, how did he pass away? Just being huge, I guess. I don't know. Oh, yeah, if he was 350. Well, they're not like the healthiest eaters, I don't yeah. think. I don't, I, don't, I don't think. Yeah. Do you remember? Uh, <clears throat> I didn't even do this on purpose, man. I was walking up the stairs yeah. in high school, <clears throat> and I'm talking to my buddy, and we're talking about vaginas, dude. Mm. You know, just casually, like, talking about vaginas. Yeah. And the special needs kid behind us could hear what we were saying. And no joke, dude, he literally started running around the building screaming vagina. Yeah. And he would he went in each and every class to scream it. <laughs> Don't good for him, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good for him. Yeah, <laughs> That's a fucking bro right there. Dude, it was one of the most beautiful moments like I've ever... Dude, that's awesome, actually. Because sometimes they hear stuff and they go, oh, like, yeah. that's cool. Like, you know, <laughs> I don't even know what happened, man. Oh, that's cool. I, yeah. I, heard this, dude. I was, dude, I, we were in class and we could hear him yelling it. <clears throat> it was like a circular building, dude, you know. Good for fucking him. Yeah, he's a that's, legend, man. What was his name? I don't know. I never <laughs> met him. One of them, uh, their name was Raj. Mm. The dude who pissed everywhere. His name was Raj, they, which I, is a sick name to have, dude. I remember, Raj. Them, I remember them being a... Uh, like super horny like they would like hook up with each other in the hallways really and like no one like you're not going to stop that <laughs> dude you know i was just like all right that's just that's what they're doing i don't think i've ever seen that man no i would see they a were lot. like making out and stuff and like touching each other Whoa. like in our school that's how it went down <laughs> wow we were very <clears throat> different breeds dude we were very <laughs> yeah dude, like, like out in the hallways and we were like all right well that's what's happening and you just let it happen yeah that means <laughs> So, yeah, that's what's happening. That's really. wild, man. Yeah. That's like, sick. I mean, they look like they were having a fun time. So I was like, eh, yeah. whatever. Just let them be, man. Let them be. Wow. Bunch of legends, dude. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know, man. I used to think about like what would happen if um, <clears throat> I saw like a special needs dude getting made fun of. Hmm. Some people think I'm special needs, dude. So it's like <laughs> I got to protect my own. You're like, you'd be like their leader. I think so, yeah. Yeah. That would be sick. If you had um, if you have an, an army of them, what would be your first move as 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 general hmm. i think we would just play sports all day yeah you know or just hang out i think uh to this day man even when i see like a ball or something yeah <clears throat> like i want to i want to play catch right away i don't know what it is yeah something's going on something yeah something something it got bad dude even when i was in uh even to this day, man, I'll hit up some of the homies from back in the day. I'll text them and I'll be like, yo, you guys want to meet up in the Dollar Tree parking lot and like throw some Hail Marys, you know, drink some coffee and stuff. <laughs> beer's yeah. not coffee now. <laughs> <laughs> it's always been coffee, dude. Really? It was never beers, yeah. Really? You're not a drinker? <clears throat> well, just for that specific moment. Oh, okay. You know, because you want to be on your game, dude. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> toss some pig skin, drink some, yeah. some bean water. And I didn't know how like crazy that sounds. You know, but coffee and, to ask and, someone that who's like in a relationship now. I would think that you're <clears> fucking <throat> with me. If you like, want to just yeah. drink some coffee, have a catch. <laughs> but you're all right. Yeah, <laughs> you are going through it. But to <laughs> me, that just seems like a a good night. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> but uh, dude, you do uh, jujitsu, right? I do. I That's do. pretty sick, man. Yeah, I got my black belt a few years ago. Yeah. Do you like talking about it or no? Uh, so right now my hips are like fucking shot. So I had a hip surgery when I was like 27. Yeah. And uh, my hips are just now. I used to compete and shit. Mm -hmm. I wrestled in like 
community community college for a little bit and then it was like a yeah. club team wrestling was super hard dude so i was just like i don't know if i want to do this <laughs> like yeah. just, you get to a level where you're like dude these fucking kids are about wrestling and i am not about wrestling and i started doing jujitsu i was like all right this is like more my speed mm-hmm. and i just stuck with that and, that's um, wild though dude you're a black belt that's insane it takes a long time. It took like 10 years. Really? Yeah. So you must have been like super committed for a while. Yeah, I was competing for like probably like eight of those years. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, and then yeah, got the hip surgery. I was like, well, I can't fucking move now. Yeah. And I had to like relearn how to walk. It was fucked up. But someone like, takes your hips away. It's yeah. like, because even like getting up out of this chair, you realize like, oh, that's that takes hips. Like everything is. Do you have like hip impingement or something? Just genetics. So you have to run with those sports all the time. And I always ran on pavement. So like, I think just that constant, just yeah. grinded them down mm-hmm. and then, um, yeah, so then they are what they are Yeah, and it sucks, but <clears throat> get actually cortisone shots tomorrow. Holy shit. So, <laughs> both yeah. sides and we'll see, uh, we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> yeah. It makes like, um, I got fucked up hips too, but I don't really believe anything anyone says to be yeah. honest. <laughs> like I don't really trust doctors, man. And I know that sounds like kind of like conspiracy, but yeah. Yeah, like uh, this one uh, physical therapist was like, yeah, man, like you have like hip impingement, like you need to have surgery. What is hip impingement? <clears throat> I think basically like your hips are supposed to rotate at like 360 yeah. degrees. Okay. If you have impingement, it's just like rubbing against the bone kind of. Oh, uh, okay, okay, cool. You know, like it doesn't have that space to rotate. I think that's what I have. I have really? like shallow hip sockets. And then <clears throat> I remember when I was like, it started hurting when I was like 26. I would mm-hmm. be like doing mics and shit. Yeah. And I'm like walking around the city and I'm like hobbling. I'm like, what's going on? Because I'm 26. Yeah. Like this should not be happening. Mm-hmm. And then I went to go get them checked out. And they were like, yeah, your shit is destroyed. <clears throat> yeah. But, but like, dude, doctors will always tell you like, oh, you know, like take these painkillers like right yeah. away. They don't even ask, you know, they're just like, oh, take these painkillers. And like, you know, it's always like the same prognosis for everyone. But yeah. I love watching YouTube videos of like those Asian guys. You know, and they're just like, listen, don't listen to those fucking pussies, dude. Yeah, like, listen to us. Yeah. We're, we're Asian. <laughs> we're Asian, dude. <laughs> but I started doing like um, like hip movements and stuff that this yeah. Asian, uh, I mean, he is a doctor, though. These dudes are doctors. They're just yeah. like YouTube doctors, you know? Um, but yeah, dude, I started doing like hip impingement, like exercise and stuff, man. And my hips cleared up right away. Is that the one where you like, just like that and you like have like one, I can't do I mean, it there's here. A, there's a bunch of them, but. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Yeah. Some people... Some people do like crazy hip shit, like where they have like their leg like that, yeah, and they do it like the box is under here, uh-huh. and then they like push off like that. Like I could not do yeah. that. My hip would be screaming. Dude, the craziest one is like um, it's called like a couch stretch. Okay. And uh, I mean, they call it the couch stretch because you like do it on your couch. Okay. So you basically like put your like knee against the wall. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's so fucking hard, dude. I literally like I legit start crying when I have to do it like dude. a little bit. After the after I got the surgery, because like then you're you're immobile for mm-hmm. like like literally on a couch for like two months. Yeah. So I was too. Yeah. They're like, we can do the full hip replacement or this. Wait, you got your whole hip replaced? No. So I wanted to get. They're like, that's a better surgery. Yeah. It's an easier healing process and it helps with everything you're trying to do. Yeah. But you're 27, so we can't we can't give like a hip. You're too young. Yeah. A hip replacement lasts 30 years. Like, do you plan on dying when you're 57? Yeah. And I was like, no. <clears throat> like, so we're going to do this one thing where we go in and we shave the bone down, and then it's up to you to rehabilitate it, which was Shit. sucked. And yeah. it was like two months of me just on a couch. And then I finally started doing PT after the two months. Uh-huh. And like, my IT band was like a guitar string. It was like, yeah. he like, he like, oh, we're going to rub it down. And he went like that. And I was like, <gasps> like started sweating like profusely yeah well that's a, that's another thing dude like the some people will like massage their it band dude but your it band is like a fucking dildo dude yeah. it's like super hard yeah like you're not even supposed to you know i got dildo it bands yeah i don't know man i just uh i just like to try shit out and see if it works first and then like you know worst comes to worst i'm just like all right i guess we'll but are you yeah. you're uh you're like a power lifter or were no, never, never once in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, like powerlifting is the huh? powerlifting is the gayest thing ever. But not, not. CrossFit. I hated the powerlifters. Those guys are just big, fat. Fucks. Not even they just look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> they look like shit. They lift every like ten minutes. They'll do like one rep, and then they'll talk to people, and it's like, dude, 
<laughs> fucking work out. Yeah. Like you suck. I hated powerlifters, dude, and I hated how everyone was like, dude, you're a fucking powerlifter, bro. Just because every once in a while, like, I'll get sad and I'll just shred it. You know what I mean? Like, slip yeah. if, I'll slip a few discs, you know? I, uh, <laughs> but, like, no, nah, dude, never, never powerlifting. Man. I'm just picturing you, like, this one guy lifts, like, a thousand pounds, and you're like, you look like shit. <laughs> anybody, anybody ever tell you that? You look like shit. <laughs> oh, me and my buddies would talk shit about him all the time. It's like, oh, yeah, dude, you can lift fucking, you can squat 750, but you look like a fucking mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> you see that guy? He's like this like enormous Greek dude. You would hate him. Like Kappa Kapolak or something like that. Okay. He like does these like Zercher lifts where it's like yeah. literally like 4,000 pounds. And he's just like, and he moves it like that. And he's this big, fat Greek fuck. But like mm-hmm. everyone loves him, really. And he like he'll lift like three times. And he's like, ah, like screaming, <clears throat> dude. It's just like when you reach a certain weight, yeah. It's like, dude, you're not gonna have good form. Like, no. Anytime no I lifted heavy, dude, I was only doing it because I was like upset about something and I had to like let it out. Yeah, you know. And it never felt good, like lifting wise. <laughs> you know what I mean? It what felt about, good to like let it out. What about emotional wise? <clears throat> yeah, I think that's why I was doing it. Yeah, just to let off some steam, but like. Dude, once you, like, you know, if you're squatting, like, 500, dude, like, your whole body's just, like, shaking. Like, you have no idea what's going on. It's just, like... Dude, my squat's always been bitch. I've never had a good squat, like, ever. Ever, yeah. ever. Really? Nah, it's just never. More like a shoulders arm guy. Yeah, I mean, squats are tough, man. Yeah, they are. They're fucking... Even to this day, I don't even think I know how to squat the right way. I feel like um, it's, like, a, like a genetic thing. Like, there are some yeah. people who just, like, put up weight squat wise yeah and their hips are just like they're just gifted with like uh, yeah like the ass to grass i'm like i can't fucking do that dude. there's no no way, way. man no nah, dude even like when people see me on the street dude i look like i'm like shitting my pants like i'm literally <laughs> like waddling and shit you know what i mean <laughs> yeah. i don't i don't even know how to explain my body dude like it's just like all fucked up you know what um you said <clears throat> you said you did play football or yeah yeah everyone uh i wanted to play college but i uh I, like, hurt my knee. Like, I sat down with the coaches and stuff, and they were like, yeah, man, like, you can come play, like, D3 and stuff. Yeah. And they were like, by the way, it's, like, $75,000 a year. And I was like, all right, man, I'll think about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll go back to you, dude. Yeah, it had nothing to do with, like, talent or anything. I was just like, I don't have that type of money, you know yeah. what I mean? So-, so much money, like, especially, like, those D3 schools, just, like. And then you find out, dude, like, I can't even imagine wrestling in college, dude. It's, um, and even when I was, like, like, I thought when I, like, when I was younger, I was, like, in college age, I was, like. Whatever, you're just, like, being a bitch about this. Like, yeah. you're, you're, like, a child. And then I went back to my friend who was a comedian was wrestling for CW Post, which is D3. Uh-huh. And he's like, oh, you should come train, like, with us. And I was, like, 25 at the time. Yeah. And I was like, oh, cool. Like, you're an adult now. Like, wrestling probably won't be as bad mm. to you now. Yeah. And I went back. I was like, dude, wrestling sucks, dude. Like, even at 25, I was, like, in, like, a D3 room. And mm-hmm. I was like... This fucking blows, dude. This, yeah. is, this is just hard. It's just I'm kind of jealous, sh- though, dude, because, like, I don't really know how to defend myself, dude. Like, if I ever got into an altercation, yeah. you know, I'd probably just pull my pants down, dude. <laughs> you know what <laughs> start, I mean? Like, I start, start pissing on a guy? Like, if I got into a, an altercation with somebody who used to wrestle, dude, I would get <laughs> fucked up. It's, I would get fucking tossed, dude. It's for sure like a... like a Superpower, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Also, like... Grappling strength is way stronger than like yeah. weightlifting. It's you're like lifting bodies. I mean, I think I got that down, dude. Yeah, <laughs> <clears throat> yeah but dude, I've always been like, damn, dude, I kind of want to. I wish I wrestled just so I knew, you know. There's just- the yeah, wrestling is um, also like wrestlers are such like deranged, they're like strange, deranged people. Yeah, like, I remember when, there was a big tournament when we were like in high school mm-hmm. and we all went to this one bathroom stall and one team just took shits in the same toilet and, like, didn't flush. And it was, like, a mound of shit, dude. Oh, you did poop stacking, dude. Yeah, I'd never seen that ever before in yeah, my life. Someone explained to me what that was on this podcast. Dude, it was hilarious. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> fucking, dude, like, there was no water. It was just, like, a mound of shit. <laughs> like, dude, like, the only way you get that out is you go with your hands and, like, scoop it out. Yeah. You can't flush that down. <clears throat> you got to feel for the janitor, dude. Yes. <laughs> He as just a, quits. As, yeah. <laughs> I would quit, dude. Hey, I would quit on the spot. Dude, like, there's like, no way. Like, yeah, I'm not fucking doing this, dude. Yeah. 
some people say that's a good job for comedy, dude, is to just be like a janitor. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I'm, I'm researching the role. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm method acting. I like wouldn't, be- I don't know, man. Maybe, I guess it depends where it is. Yeah, I feel like you have to scope out the scene first. Be like, are these people taking big shits? Or like, what's <laughs> going on? Or if you were like, yeah, but like what school are they going to fuck with you? Like if you went, if you were a janitor, if you were a white yeah. janitor in a hood school, they would fuck with you, dude. Like, yeah, like, like like heavy, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like if someone they would just like throw like a hamburger at you, like point yeah. blank. You think the pay would be better though? You They'd think? be like, hey, listen, you're gonna deal with some shit. Like, you think? I think maybe. I feel like it would just be just the same. I think an office after hours office janitor would be sick. Just go in like clean the cubicles and stuff. Oh, the guy who like the night shift guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that'd be sick. Yeah. Also, like I know. <clears throat> Like, remember in high school where, like, you know, because you're a dick. You're, like, a teenage dickhead. Yeah. And, like, you know, you and your friends get together. And <laughs> the janitor walks down. And you're like, look at this fucking fat fucking janitor, dude. <laughs> like, like, fuck this guy, dude. <laughs> yeah. and, you know, like, but then, then then you're the janitor. And then it'd be like, oh, shit. I'm Yeah. I'm what type of janitors do you have in high school? We had one guy who was, like, I mean, to us, he was older. Yeah. He's like realistically, he's probably like thirty five. Okay, realistically, but then we had, he was cool. I think I remember we had another cool guy, but then most of them were just like fat fucks. Yeah, <laughs> just like fat fuck janitors. <laughs> like, all of ours were uh, Portuguese dudes. Were they really? They all knew each other, dude. Really? One time, uh, what did we call this dude? Fuck, I cannot remember what we. Oh, we called him Muchacho, dude. Oh, they- yeah. Some this Portuguese dude uh, at the high school. So he was super nice, man. He would always talk to us, and he would drink on the job. You like, probably uh, could drink on the job. Yeah, he would drink at night. So like we would have like basketball practice and stuff, and we would just see him like taking it, <laughs> taking it down, dude. <laughs> You're like, this guy is the fucking man. He would always talk to us, but he spoke like broken English. Yeah. He literally, you couldn't understand what he was saying. You'd be like, hey, dude, po- I'm I'm actually Portuguese. I found that out. Yeah. Wasn't raised Portuguese, but I found out really? like I'm like 75% Portuguese. Oh, you're going to live to your like 100, dude. Yeah, probably, maybe. Yeah. But that's uh that's a tough language to learn, dude. Yeah. I tried over pandemic. I was like, what is going on, man? Dude, so uh there was like a hurricane a f- like years ago mm. in uh Rhode Island. It was like a small one. It was just like a bad tropical storm, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> so like the power's out, dude. All the power out, uh all the power's out in the neighborhood. Uh there's like trees that fell down and stuff. So like me and my friends were walking around and we saw this uh, like this apple tree in this dude's backyard and we were like oh dude let's go take some apples and like throw them at houses yeah, these are like that's, that's, <laughs> I would do that now dude yeah, dude. Like, dude these are like full <laughs> size it's like bombing a house with an apple dude, dude. these are like full sized apples too. Oh, there's, dude, we filled bags of them. And, uh, dude, so we decided we were going to throw all the apples at that dude's house who was growing the apples. Oh, shit. So we threw a shit ton of apples at his house, made the loudest sound ever. <laughs> and that janitor comes outside. No! Yeah. It's his fucking house. He was house. like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> dude, I don't know. I don't think he's saw What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Get back here! That's how they sound. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. He would always be like, hey. Like he, that's all he would say. <laughs> hey. But, uh, that felt so bad, man. I was like, damn, dude. Like, that's our brother. We just, like, yeah, ultimate he, sign of disrespect. You just stole his apples and bombed his house with them. That apple tree probably meant the world to him. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> there was so, dude, the apples look so good, man. I almost ate one, dude. I was like, these are fucking good apples, dude. Dude, I miss, I miss doing shit like that. Like, that's, if I had to go back... <clears throat> to high school it would be for like a week vacation just yeah. to do shit like that oh yeah we would shit on things like do you guys shit on things i could never like i never had the focus <laughs> dude we like there was like <laughs> <laughs> there was a there was this tree it was like a park in the center of the town yeah and we all climbed up at the tree and just like took dumps out of the tree off the tree off the tree oh shit but it was like it was like may so it wasn't a leafy tree <laughs> Did you see kids just shitting out of the trees? <laughs> Jesus. Dude, yeah. shitting on things. Yeah. Did you ever, uh, 
Do you ever light a bag of shit on fire? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I got caught for it, too. We tried doing that once. This kid shit in a bag, and we put it on this dude's windowsill, and he ran up to it and tried lighting it, and the lighter wouldn't work. So no. he, just, he just left the shit there. No. <laughs> Guy just had shit on his window shit, like, for like four weeks. Like, yeah. oh, right. It was fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> so we'll just leave it, dude. We took shit. We took shits on swings, and we covered them in sand. So it just looked like a pile of sand. And some guy came with his daughter and was like, oh, there's sand on this swing. Oh, man. You got a handful of shit. <laughs> and we, just like, we were just like, sucks for you, pussy. And just like ran away. You're not, I don't care what you say. You're not catching like a 15-year-old on foot. Like, oh. there's, there's, there's no way. Like, I mean, I, not, dude, I, would I, would, catch, uh, I wouldn't catch my 15-year-old self. Like your crew was pretty in like good shape. Yeah, we're all like athletes and stuff. Yeah, I used to purposely take this one kid just because I knew he'd run out of breath. He was like always, he had like asthma and shit. Oh, so I would, we had, uh, I had two, I have two trees in my mom's backyard, dude. They're, uh, they always have acorns. Yeah. So we just fill like, uh, just grocery bags filled with acorns <laughs> and then we would run at houses, just absolutely bomb them. <laughs> and I would just do this thing, dude, where I would hit like 10 houses in a row as I was running. And, then and the kid be behind like, me would be like, <laughs> 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 he would like borderline cry sometimes. He'd be like, stop. <laughs> and then they come out and they see him. He's like, yeah. what do you mean? He's my friend. Well, dude, it's always the people, man, that you like, you think aren't going to fuck with you that fuck with you. You know yeah. what I mean? Like even this dude, two houses down, he was this like Russian guy. And my mom would talk to him sometimes and his wife. And one time we were literally just hanging out in front of his house. We weren't even doing anything. Yeah. You know, like we weren't going to like egg his house or anything. And he was like, get the fuck out of here. And we were like, all right, old man, like, like, I didn't say that, but like, yeah, the smart asses in the group said it. Yeah. And uh, they were like, just they ignored him. They didn't say anything. And uh, he was like, all right, I'm getting my gun. We were like, what oh, the shit. fuck? There's a, they were like, there's no way this dude has a gun. And he literally grabbed a shotgun. And we were like, all right, well, oh, see you later. never going to that guy's house again, dude. You dude know? There's some people like I know, like anytime, <laughs> if you were fucking with someone's house and they yeah. were like foreign. Like, there they weren't from America. Mm -hmm. Like, they didn't give a fuck. Like, they'll beat the shit out of a kid. Like, yeah. They'll fuck a kid up. Well, I think, uh, so you are you grew up in? Uh, in uh, on Long Island, yeah. On Long Island. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can't even imagine, like, fucking with those people, dude. Um, you're either going to get, like, a fucking lunatic Italian guy. Uh -huh. <laughs> or like just sets out a, like a bounty on your family yeah or just like <laughs> yeah like we would fuck people with like christmas decorations and one time yeah. we like ran away we like ran like a whole block and we're like all right we could stop running now and the guy <laughs> caught up to us because really? we because we, we were walking for so long uh -huh. and he just like grabbed us he was like a thick dude yeah. and he just grabbed one of us and was like you come back or i'll beat the shit out of your friend damn and we were like all right. He's yeah, like, you can have him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Sorry, Joe. <laughs> Sucks for you, dude. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy, Yeah, man. it's usually like lunatic Italian people or like, I don't know. Because like you said, dude, I would do that now. Yeah. Like if we had some apples and stuff and you wanted to get after it, I just feel like around here, like we'd do one house and you would just hear like AK-47 bullets go off into the yeah, air. Yeah, dude. You know what I mean? There was one time <laughs> where there was a spot, <laughs> there was a spot where you would like throw snowballs. At. It was like a, it was like bushes and yeah. you'd come out of the bushes and like nail cars yeah. with snowballs. <laughs> it's like the best spot in the world. Yeah. And we did it till we were like 24 years old uh -huh. and we like nailed this guy's car and he turned around and he was like, you fucking, you could have killed somebody. Fucking serious? <laughs> the fucking snowball. But we were there was like three of us. We were twenty four. We were like, yeah. we'll beat the shit out of you. And he's just like, oh, you're man. right. And he like kind of got in his car and drove away. Yeah, yeah. Just you just gotta stuff. stay away from rocks, man. That's why we used uh, eight rocks. Uh, <laughs> dude, dude, rocks is crazy. Oh rocks. man, I was with my buddy Cam once, and we were on my side hill, and we were literally having a heart to heart, dude. Like we were talking about life and stuff, yeah. and get emotional. And just to be like dramatic, like as I'm talking to him, I'm taking these rocks and I'm just throwing them as far as I can. And they're, it's going like streets over. So you can't even see where it's landing. Yeah. And uh, my friend calls me who lives two houses down and he's like, dude, are you throwing rocks right now? <laughs> and I was like, maybe. <laughs> and he was like, dude, you're putting holes in my grandma's house. <laughs> I was literally putting holes in his grandma's house, dude. She was like freaking out. So she called, she called my friend Joey. She was like, I think your friend John is out throwing rocks. At my house. 
That's a hilarious. You throwing rocks right now? <laughs> I'd be like, no. Everybody just knew if like someone was throwing stuff, it was me, dude. Dude, let's let's get together and fucking throw some apples at houses. I mean, dude, it was such a good stress relief, man. It really, it really is. It's it, really nothing better. When you nail something with like an apple yeah. <laughs> or like or, or like a dirt clod. Yeah. Dude, it was and just <laughs> run away, man. That anticipation. <laughs> <laughs> would you would you throw stuff out of bus windows? We would out of bus windows. Yeah, like while like the bus oh, no. take you home from school. We would. We had those really small windows, dude. Even getting those things down was like a hassle. We um the same same here, but every mm. once like every few windows, one would like come down like that, and yeah. I'm like, oh, we can get our arm out. Oh and shit! And then we had like a dirt, my friend had a bag of dirt. And he fucking like <laughs> wung it through this guy's open window and he fucking exploded all over his face. <laughs> he was like, fucking dirt. <laughs> fucking dirt on my uh, face. And the bus drivers had like no idea. Yeah. Sometimes uh, they would catch on to be like, what yeah. are you doing back there? Yeah. And they would be like, nothing. And then, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I miss it, man. I think I, I think I did it for too long, to be honest. There was a moment where everyone kind of moved on, and I was like, dude, let's run it back. <laughs> guys, I'm, I'm at the spot. Like, you guys coming or what? <laughs> I got snowballs. I got dirt. <clears throat> we uh we get phone calls, man, if you want to answer a few. Yeah. I almost forgot. My bad. Wait, what do you mean uh, phone calls? Oh, we like... Uh, people just call in, dude. Oh, sweet. You know? Hey, Johnny. Long-time listener. So, today, I'm in the Apple... And I'm just trying to return a phone, get some credit back, maybe upgrade. And all of a sudden, five dudes take off with laptops, just robbing the place. I was kind of just standing there in fear, watching what everyone was going to do. But I feel like I should have chased after them, maybe try to trip one of them. Um, yeah, just seeing what you would have done in that situation, uh, if you were me. Awesome. Thanks, man. What you would have done? You said he was, tr <clears throat> he wish he would have tripped one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, I'd, I'd start stealing laptops. Yeah. Yeah, you join the mob. Oh, 100%, man. Fuck Apple, dude. Join the mob. Have you seen, I've been seeing some of those videos. It's like looting. Yeah. Oh, just, There's a lot just, of looting. Just like for no reason. Because like, <laughs> <'cause> they can't <laughs> do anything. So it's like, like, yeah, do you, you actually it? can't accuse someone of stealing something. <laughs> Hey, so you steal it. Nah, nah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely wasn't me. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what you're fucking talking about. <laughs> yeah. When I worked at uh, Dick's Sporting Goods, they were like, if you see someone stealing, let us know, but don't try to like stop them. And I was like, all right. <laughs> by the time I let you know, <laughs> fucking guy's gone. <laughs> like, dude, we would just show up to work and like half the fucking glove rack was gone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's like a ballsy thing to steal. Yeah. Like not one pair of gloves, the whole rack. Yeah, dude, like three hundred dollar gloves. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? And they were just like, yeah, I guess we're fucked. You know what I mean? Because we're out of gloves. Yeah, boys. like they didn't do anything, dude. But well, have you been a uh, like? I don't know, man. I don't even watch the news really. But like, man, I feel either. like around here, you can do anything, man. Just get let out on bail, pretty much. Yeah, I got arrested. Uh, it was it like before pandemic? I got arrested as a friend. And he had blow on him. Yeah. And then, um, so I got my lawyer. My lawyer is from Brooklyn, but the case was on Long Island. Mm -hmm. And the lawyer was like, if this is in Brooklyn, like, I didn't even know he would have to show up to court. Really? I think I could just go here and just get you off of it. Just for like possession? Yeah. He was, uh, he was, <laughs> it was in front of a Hooters. <laughs> <laughs> I got arrested in front of a Hooters. I got fired an hour ago. Oh, uh, from I did Hooters? No. <laughs> <laughs> I worked like a big prestigious medical job okay. and I crashed the truck <laughs> <laughs> and I parked the truck back at headquarters and didn't think anybody would notice. Yeah. And I met the boys at Hooters and my, my boss called me and was like, the fuck's going on with this truck, Trav? And I was like, I wasn't there before. And he's like, yeah. you're done. Save it. You're fired. And I was like, you know what, dude? I just got fired. I will do some coke. Never mind. And then we were doing it in my friend's car and I hear... Like on the window, and it's a light shining in my face. And I looked up, and there was a dollar bill on my nose. I was just like, "Who the fuck is that?" And, <laughs> and he lowered the light, and it was a cop. And I was oh. like, "Fuck!" And yeah. I was like, "There's no way." I just lost my job. 
Oh man! And got arrested within one hour. Yeah. And then it was the worst part was you know, they they cuffed me, they throw mm. me in the back of the car, and like all the hot Hooters girls are looking at me, and I'm just like, don't worry, I'll come back tomorrow. And they're just oh. like, they're like, yeah, no, you have no chance with any of us. Really? I feel like they'd, they'd be like flash flood warnings, dude. Oh, no, no, I feel I, like they'd be into that stuff. Yeah, you just I, got like powder all over your nose. It's like it's getting arrested in front of a Hooters. That's a legend. The Wait, the, so were you uh, driving around with like medical equipment? Yeah, I was first. I was transporting the medical equipment, and oh, right. then I ended up like doing the medical cases, like, like <laughs> which is a tremendous liability. Yeah, because you're, you're peeling out in the Hooters, fucking. I did <laughs> parking lot, <laughs> like <laughs> machines sloshing around the back. I um I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah, I didn't. My my cousin worked a job for like ten years. Mm -hmm. He was like, oh, I could teach my cousin. And I was like, dude, I don't. It was a, I was a laser technician. Wow. And I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. But I would go to these operating rooms, just like, yeah, I'm the technician, <laughs> 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 and just like tremendous liability being in there. Yeah. It's crazy, man. Like, it's all about who you know, though. You know? Dude, it, yeah. Literally. Literally. Yeah. And, like, I, dude, I was, every day, it was, like, a tremendous anxiety attack. I was like, I hope. And anytime if, like, something went wrong with the machine, mm. I was like, fuck, dude. Yeah. What is it like doing uh doing coke, man? You don't have to answer that. But. It's, uh, I, mean, I don't do it anymore, but it was, um, it's fun at first, because mm -hmm. you're just, like, I think, like, so I started doing it when I was, like, 18. Yeah. Then you're 18, you're, like self-conscious about a lot of shit when would it usually like come out like when would you usually you at least college usually college like people start doing it like what was the uh what were you doing when you were doing it though just like partying <sighs> yeah going to bars huh? house parties yeah shit like that but then it, it starts to get like, like you start needing more and more uh -huh. and then you know people kind of stop doing drugs <laughs> And you keep doing it and you're like, oh, you got to stop it. I'm just yeah. ramping up. <laughs> you're like, yeah. And then it gets to a point where you're just kind of like doing it with these weird ass people. And like, you know, like everything in your life is like, you should stop doing this. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I think you, you just have to like stop. You just have to get tired of being a loser. I think that's what it is. You just have to get tired of like, I'm tired of waking up at my parents' house and like doing nothing with so my life. So it like negatively affects your life. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. Cause I don't know anything about it, man. Yeah, you know? people. I mean, people obviously talk about it, but it's kind of hard to like think about it if you've never done it. You know, like the feeling. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, like movies will be like, like, nah, you do coke and make a lot of money. You know, you could be yeah. like one of those guys. And it's like, I can't even. I don't even understand how you be like a finance coke guy. Like, you know what I mean? I mean, that's got to be pretty big in comedy, though, right? Like people doing coke. I don't think it is. Really? I think probably back in the 80s it was. I think yeah. in the 80s everything was coke. Mm -hmm. That's like from like, anytime you talk to someone who's like 55, yeah. they're like, yeah, dude, 80s were. 80s do, you were get like a, do you get like a boost of confidence at all? Oh, yeah. That's what I say. I think I, when I started, I was young. Huh. I think when you're young, you're like, you're not, like you don't have a high self-esteem because you haven't yeah. done all that much yet. You know, you're only alive for like 20 years. Yeah. And like, you know, half of those, you were like a little kid. So, yeah. you know, so you're walking around and you don't really have much confidence. And you, oh, never mind. I'm good. Yeah, I would never do it, man. But it just seems like there's so many good stories that people tell on it. Because you're, you're a maniac. <laughs> you're like a fucking maniac. I drove yeah. to, uh, I drove to uh, Ocean City, Maryland with the top down on my Wrangler, like through a storm. <laughs> because I was like up from the night before. Really? I was like, we're just going to get to Ocean City, Maryland. Oh, man. And my girlfriend at the time was like, you're getting our luggage wet. <laughs> <laughs> she was, dude, I've never seen someone as mad she as that. She was in the car? She was in the car. Oh, man. And she didn't know I got a new car the night before. So you didn't have a top. I So I got the Wrangler. <laughs> I took the top off to show off to everybody oh, at yeah. the show. Yeah. And then I was too high to get it back on. Okay. And I was like, all right, I'll just pick her up. <laughs> And we'll go to Ocean City, Maryland. Yeah. And then she's like, you're not going to put the top back on? And I was like, nah, it'll be good. Yeah. And then we hit the Throgs deck, and it just started torrential downpour. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh. And I was just like white knuckling it. That's so, that'd be so funny to see on the highway, dude. <laughs> <laughs> just like a fucking coked up moron yeah. in you're the just, rain. <laughs> you're straight face, dude. <laughs> She was, dude. She was so mad. Like I've never seen someone that mad at me. Oh man, I remember getting high, and I uh, <laughs> when I had a girlfriend in high school, I would get so stoned that I forget. Like I would forget that she wanted to hang out. 
Yeah. And one time she showed up, dude, to where I like where I was at. Yeah. It was so fucking funny, dude. Oh, that's fucking. I showed up uh, to fish with my friend in this cove, and I didn't really know him that well. Like, you know, he was like a cool dude, and he would just, you know, we just happened to want to go fishing. Yeah. He's like, yeah, man, meet me in this cove. It's like a really good fishing spot. Dude, so I show up in uh, like waders. <laughs> like <laughs> You and waders and your funny fucking thing. <laughs> oh, dude, I was strapped up, man. I was ready to go. I had a backpack and everything, dude. I had sunglasses and stuff. Dude, so we get in this cove and we're fishing and he's like, hey, man, you want to like a few dabs? And I was like, um, I didn't want to say no. So I was like, all right, man, you know, um, yeah, I'll take a few. Dude, after like three dabs, I literally was like losing my fucking mind. You know what I mean? Yeah. And eventually I was like, listen, man, uh, do you want to get out of here? <laughs> like, I was like, do you want to go, dude? And he was like, yeah, man, I got to head out anyway. So we're like, we're walking out of the cove. And he's like, all right, man, like we have to cross this bridge. It's just two logs. Uh, he's like, there's water on both sides. He's like, don't step on the right side. He's like, step on the left side. And I'm like, all right. Dude, so I just stepped directly on the right side, and I submerge in, like, 10 feet of water. <laughs> I just dunked in water, dude. Like, in waders? Completely submerged, high as tits, dude. I had my waders on, my backpack with, like, my phone, all my valuables in it, oh. and my fishing pole in my hand. Dude. <laughs> you probably look like a moron. <laughs> Dude, so I like popped my head up and I just, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I was like, I'm dreaming. There's no way that you have dude. And he was, he was in tears laughing. Like, dude. this was a kid that didn't really laugh that much. This kid was literally like hunched over, trying to, like, like <laughs> crying, laughing. I see you trying to swim in waders. Yeah. And I'm, dude, I was so fucking high, bro. On, you know, and uh, my fishing pole was at the bottom of the, the fucking pond. Uh, all my stuff was soaked. And I remember walking back to my truck, dude. And I just saw my girlfriend <laughs> just started immediately like screaming at me. I was like, why are you going to do that in front of Peter? <laughs> like, <laughs> why are you going to do that in front of my boys? All right? that was, that's all I cared about, man. I was like, dude, yo, you can't do that in front of the boys, man. Yo, you know? Yo, yo, not in front of Pete. All right? Yeah. <laughs> yo, matter of fact, we're breaking up. <laughs> Fuck out of my face. Uh, yeah, you can't yell at me in front of the boys, man. If it's just us two, like, it's fine, but... It's funny you say that, like, crossing a river. I have a not funny story. The, when So, like, the town that I grew up in, they had, it was like, there's an abandoned middle school, mm -hmm. and behind the middle school were, like, this small sliver of woods, Yeah, and a creek went through it. And if it rained, it was called Brookside Woods. Okay. And the, the, the middle school was Brookside Middle School. Mm -hmm. And, um... But we you hang out and drink in the woods, and there's a creek going through the woods. And if it rained, the creek filled up to like ten feet deep. Yeah. And then one day we were hanging out after school, smoking, and it had rained the night before, so it was a mm -hmm. you know it was a fucking river. And so we you had to hop on one log, hop on another log, and that's how you got across the river. And we hung out with this like really fat kid, Aaron Glazer, and he uh, I mean he's probably dead now anyway, but whatever. And he so he we're like we all hop whatever. And we're like, all right, dude, you have to you have to hop on the right one, the left one, and that's how you get across the river. And he's like, I don't want to do that. And we're like, that's the only way you're getting across the river. You got to do that. Mm -hmm. So we finally coerce him to do it. He hops on one log, hops on the next log. The log spins over, and there's a spike in the log, and it goes right through his, like, knee fat. Oh. And we were all, like, ninth grade high. You know when you see, you see something like ninth grade high, you're like, "What the fuck is that?" Dude, like, yo, it was horrifying. It went through his whole fucking like, like this part of his. You know, oh, he's on a fatter knee. Yeah, it like, and there was, and there was like fat on the stick. Oh. We were just like, ah, ah, get a janitor, yeah, get a janitor, get a janitor. <laughs> it was like, whoa. oh, and then he didn't come to class for like three weeks after that. You know what happened to him? No, I think he he like stopped going to high school. <laughs> I think that was like his like that exit. was his end point. He was like, "Yeah, I'm out." <laughs> He's like, "Yeah, I'm done, dude. I'm done with this fucking school." Oh man, dude, I'm, I'm done with this town. Yeah, you were high too, man. That's gonna. My friend said he saw him in a taxi, <clears throat> and he was like, "Hey, Aaron Glazer, I saw him. He, he lost like 150 pounds in a taxi." Yeah, Damn. he was in like a separate taxi, and he's like, "Aaron Glazer," and he just like looked down. Well, that's kind of. A, I mean, I feel like his fat saved his life, dude. Yeah, definitely, dude. Yeah. It definitely if that was bone, dude. Oh. Yeah. Or just like I mean, there's there's like a femoral artery somewhere here. Yeah. I mean it was it was like that's where it was. Oh. 
we had pictures Fuck. of it, but it was like a razor phone picture. So like, yeah, it wouldn't even hold up. That'd be in sick court if you had today. It in like 4K. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that if I had to <laughs> retrieve one picture from the past, it'd be that one. Yeah. Uh, oh, all right, man. You down to do um a little bit more time on the the Patreon? Yeah. All right. I'm down. All right. Thank you guys for listening. Um, yeah, man. Do you have uh you have anything coming up or like um just uh if you don't mind sharing your Instagram with the uh, the folks, dude? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Trav underscore Grant on Instagram, and uh, I'm filming these three films right now, so I'm just like in the middle of those. All right. Um, as far as shows go, just. Follow Trav underscore Grant. I'll post him. I'll let you guys know. Oh, yeah, dude. Thank you for coming, man. Dude, thank you, Had a you, good time, bro. dude. It's good to see you, man. I haven't Oof. seen you since uh, yeah, the, uh, the comedy class. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's literally it. I'm happy you reached yeah. out. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for listening. Um, if you want to join the Patreon, it's a dollar a month uh, just for like a, a bonus episode. And then I put out a lot of episodes early. So, yeah, if you want to do that, go ahead. And thank you guys.